Oscar nomination. So it could have gone an entirely, you know, you, ne you never know. Mm -hmm. It could have gone. My After nomination, so you never know. My entire career could have gone in a completely different direction. And when that happened, I was fortunate enough to have people in my life. I was in so much pain that I didn't want to face the outside world. I felt like this was the end of my life. You should not only strive to make a living, you should also strive to make a difference. While obtaining an Academy Award may seem like the ultimate goal for every actor in Hollywood, it is worth noting that the path required of black actors to win Oscars is too risky to be worth it. Greetings to all, and welcome back to Celebrity Live Channel. Actor Denzel Washington was only able to win the coveted award twice in his lifetime, despite receiving numerous nominations. As a result, legend is now stating that since his days, the story has undergone significant alteration and receiving committee recognition now feels more like a curse than a fantasy. Denzel is convinced that Hollywood award shows have turned into an endless parade of elates puppets, and that in order to win a prize, black actors must be willing to betray their principles and sacrifice their souls until the very end. If they don't, he warns artists about the potential pitfalls of making it big. Don't get it twisted. It's just a movie. It's not that big of a deal. Denzel mentioned a few artists who were impacted by this. It appears that we can discuss the actual Academy Award curse here because there are a lot of unsavory aspects to black artists winning the Oscars. Take Jamie Foxx's entire narrative, for instance. It has long been rumored that Jamie sold his soul to the industry elites in exchange for becoming well-known. One of Hollywood's most well-known actors, Jamie Foxx, will be 56 later this year. The 2004 biographical drama was the apex of his performing career and the reason Jamie finally took the stage with the Shrouded Academy Award. Ray, the performance of the actor, was so outstanding that he was chosen by the Academy to receive the most covered award for all actors alive leaving other giants like Leonardo DiCaprio, Clint Eastwood, and Johnny Depp bite their nails from desperation. And the Oscar goes to Jamie Foxx and Ray, as Denzel Washington believes the actor got help from the industry elates in exchange for certain favors. And you guys probably know the names of Jamie's industry friends. And let me remind you guys, there are mostly shady and controversial figures that hang out with the actor. And here's more to tell the real rise to James' success has started when he got a call from none the other but Oprah Winfrey. Then I get a call from somebody, hi, Jamie Foxx. This is Oprah. I'm like, who is Jamie himself? Recalled he never expected to hear TV icon's voice when he picked up the phone and that she came with quite a lucrative proposition concerning his future. As Jamie himself recalled, Oprah said to him, you're blowing it, Jamie Foxx. All of this gallivanting, all this kind of stuff, it's not what you want to do, so I want to take you somewhere to make you understand the significance of what you're doing in the end. Winfrey took the actor and singer to the home of a well-known producer in Hollywood, Quincy Jones, and the rest is history, however, as you know in the end, Jamie Foxx realized what a horrible mess he had been dragged in, and after trying to expose some of the industry elites, and he was severely punished for that I did go through, I went to hell and back. And my road to recovery had some potholes, as well Jamie's story is not the only case in the history of Hollywood. When elites were punishing their darlings as Denzel Washington is now saying human's life means nothing to these shady figures, and they are ready to ruin everyone who is out of their control. Well, if you remember actor Cuba Gooding, who won an Academy Award in 1997 for his portrayal of the brash football player and Jerry Maguire, experienced the career downfall right after winning the Academy Award. And it seems like Cuba is blaming the industry for ruining his chances to success further in Hollywood. And after winning his award, he realized what a vile community he had been dragged into you, said this climate. So you have to be more aware, you have to be more cognizant of not only what you say you do in your actions tonight, 
But you see what happens when you dare to oppose the powerful well in case of Cuba. More than 30 women come forward to accuse him of inappropriate behavior and unwanted touching these accusations range from unwanted kissing to forcible touching as more victims came forward. They claimed that the actor was touching and grabbing their intimate parts without their consent. And as it was later revealed by the actor, something felt wrong about the whole thing. But it is one of those moments where I look back and I say, how did you find? yourself in this scenario in this situation, so it seems like the actor became another victim of the elites. And these accusations eventually led to his arrest, as the actor said the whole thing was fabricated against him. After his arrest, he stated that the truth was on his side, I trust the system. And the process, there is a tape that shows what really happened, that's the most important thing however advice to admit some of his fault, the actor eventually plead guilty and insisted that his touching was nothing more than being extremely friendly. And these women simply misunderstood his true intentions. The world knows I pled guilty for the count of for forcible touching, a kiss the waitress, while another victim of the Academy Award. And the consequences coming with winning the Oscar, if you ask Denzel Washington, it seems like elites closely watch all black artists and they are mercilessly ruined everyone who dares to rebel against the system. Now many fans are saying Denzel's idea of these incidents being a pattern looks quite credible, as one user wrote. Denzel has the type of confidence that can only come from a lifetime of being fair and principled, genuine and generous. And another user added Denzel has always spoken the truth and remained faithful to his beliefs. The problem is that this has been going on for so long that the people in charge don't give a damn because they know nothing will change or happen to them. Rather, things will only get worse. But the actor doesn't stop with these tales, and it appears that even more celebrities have been impacted by the Oscar curse. One of the most notable examples is the renowned Monique, who was shunned by the industry shortly after winning an Oscar. For this reason, I wasn't going to prioritize Hollywood, I've already completed the film. According to Monique, she was being blackmailed by powerful individuals and had no choice but to fight back. I turned down offers from Oprah Winfrey, Tyler Perry, and several other really prominent people. I declined to work with Lionsgate and Lee Daniels after declining to dance to the hit Hollywood song. After decades of being viewed as stubborn and difficult to work with, Monique found herself in a precarious situation. Now studios and directors are refusing to cast her because of this reputation. She and her husband are difficult individuals, but you know, all of these examples above are just the tip of the iceberg, and it's getting worse and worse. When you discover the terrible destiny of Whitney Houston, one of the finest vocalists of all time and another Academy Award winner, you get sinister. In February 2012, Whitney Houston, who was only 48 years old, passed dead in a Beverly Hills hotel. In the days leading up to the Grammy Awards, the singer's tragic demeanor sent shockwaves through the music industry and the world at large. Since then, there have been rumors that there may be more to this story especially since Whitney Houston was discussing the harsh demands of the industry. There's a fine line between doing what you 